This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Monday, 4th March 2024. Welcome to News Trail. I am Adetola Kayode. Nigeria will no longer be held back by its past dotted with bureaucratic bottlenecks and corruption stifling the ease of doing business. Those were the words of President Bola Tinobu at the Nigeria-Qatar Business and Investment Forum in Doha. He re-echoed his government's resolve to fighting corruption and creating good business environment, urging Qatari investors to report any Nigerian government official who asks for bribe, promising that his government will deal decisively with any entrenched interest in the country that undermine investor confidence in the Nigerian economy. Welcoming the Nigerian delegation in the presence of Qatari captains of industry, Qatar's Minister of Commerce and Industry, Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad bin Qasim Al Abdullah Al Thani says his country looks forward to exploring opportunities in Nigeria owing to its population, demography and market. Al Thani said this is important as Qatar seeks to prioritize new investment in low-carbon initiatives, mineral products, petroleum chemicals, industry, and consumables. Governors of Borno, Kaduna, and Lagos states, alongside ministers of finance, solid minerals development, health and social welfare, marine and blue economy, trade, industry, and investment, youth, and that of state for petroleum resources, accompanied President Bola Tinubu to the state of Qatar. The police have arrested 15 suspects over the looting of a warehouse in the federal capital territory, FCT. Some residents looted a warehouse belonging to the FCT Department of Agriculture in the Tasha area of Abuja on Sunday morning. But hours after the incident, the FCT Police Command said 15 persons have been nabbed over the looting of the warehouse. The command says normalcy has since been restored to the environs and the situation is very much under control. The 15 included two local security guards and employed by the warehouse management exhibits such as 26 bags of maize, five motorcycles and some vandalized aluminum roofings were recovered from them. Sunday's looting of the warehouse comes amidst the biting economic hardship in Nigeria. Inflation figures have reached new highs, clocking 29.90% in January with the cost of living soaring. The Biden administration is intensifying calls for immediate ceasefire in the israel hamas gaza war. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris says people in Gaza are starving and has urged Israel to significantly increase the flow of aid there. She said there must be an immediate ceasefire for at least the next six weeks, which would get the Israeli hostages out earlier. Israel did not attend truce talks in Egypt, saying Hamas was not given a list of hostages still alive. Hamas's team and mediators from the U.S. and Qatar are understood to be in Egypt's capital, Cairo, for the planned negotiations. Pressure for a ceasefire deal intensified after Thursday's incident in the north of the Palestinian enclave where at least 112 persons were killed when crowds rushed an aid convoy and Israeli troops opened fire. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trail. It's the beginning of a new week. Ensure you make it count. Have a fantastic and fun-filled week.